Good. What's up, world? <laughs> it's me, Nez. Welcome to Nez Telly, where we come to talk about books. If this is your first time, every two times every week, there's a new video, right? I read a new book every Monday and every Friday. We'll sit down and discuss a new book every other week. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a beautiful weekend ahead of you. So today I have this very interesting book that I love. I can't even wait to talk about it. I don't know if you've noticed so far in my whole African themed July, I've been reading from different countries. Of course, you can't really cover a country just by one person's writing because I mean like Nigeria, there's, there's North, there's South, there's East, there's West, there's South, South, you know, you can't cover the whole thing, but at least I'm trying to get to at least each country. Like if you've noticed, the first one I read was um, being African, sorry, growing up African in Australia. I feel like that was what actually made me think, okay, I should try and read from other African countries because that story was a collection of different people that came from different parts of Africa, even the Caribbeans, and they came to Australia. So the next one was um, um, by, um, was, um, from, uh, the author is from Congo, is a Congolese. The next was from Sudan, that's our baby girl, Alekwek, and today I'm reading from a Cameroonian uh, author. Um, she's okay. She's American and Cameroonian. She grew up in Limbe, a place called Limbe. Of course, I had to go and check the map. You know, the interesting thing is that in my mind, I have like I've traveled through the semi side, like the western part of our border. I've gone to, like I've crossed. I've actually driven, uh, um, yeah, by road. I've gone by road. Um, I've gone through like you know semi Bene, Bene Republic, uh, Togo, Ghana. Ivory Coast. So I know this side of the road. Now the other side I know nothing about. That's where Cameroon is. So she talks about a place called Limbe. So it's a it's a fictional story about a family, the Jongo family. Um they moved to the US, America, New York to be exact, in pursuit of the American dream. Um I don't want to talk too much about this book. You know that's my style, but here's what I think this book have had did to me very well. Like in my head, I just kept thinking the American dream, is it an illusion? Okay, it's an illusion actually. I mean, we know now we all know that the American dream actually wasn't meant for everybody. Like, even though America is multiracial, you know, multi ethnic okay, multi a lot of ethnicity <laughs> sorry, a lot of ethnicity, um, religion, you know, everything is there, but the American dream you can tell that there's some people that actually weren't involved when they were coming up with that this thing. So this couple they moved to the U.S. in pursuit of the American dream from Cameroon, a place called Limbe. And um, she basically was like their family. Do Okay, they, you know how it is like, okay, well, I've never been to the U.S. I don't quite know how it works. But from, you know, things I hear of you, like oh, one minute you're up, you're doing well. One minute you're down and you're not doing very well. So it's like it's it, it, the, the fleeting reality of what it is. Like one minute you're, you're, you're doing well, you're popping and all that. And the next minute... That's it. So um, the, the woman was more, that's the wife, okay, a, a man, the jungle family, the man, the wife, and then they had two kids. So there was an older boy who they gave birth to in Limbe. Then they, this was, a, this like, this, their story was basically spanned over like five years where they, they were in the U.S. So it was like a space of five years. And they had a, a daughter while they were there. Um, the, 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 the woman was more desperate for the american dream she did not want to leave new york she wanted to stay in new york she was more into like you know charging for the for this thing like if we can do this this can happen if we can do that this can happen and all that the guy was getting exhausted and all that but the woman started doing like some extreme things to to <laughs> to achieve her version of the american dream um i like this book it's a novel it's a great deviation from every other thing i've read so far which is basically like realism i think i started feeling very down and all and i started thinking okay let's let's um let's try and lighten things up a little so i read about cameroon of course i did my bit of, a little bit of research i looked at the map you know and one of the things i, I liked the most about cameroon is that cameroon so far seems to be the because since i've been to bene do you understand i found that cameroon has a lot of things in common with us nigerians right um i'm talking of music um or rather type of music is then we got the makosa from we loved makosa sometime in the early 2000s um the music food like they like a goosey they love puff puff uh they are like they are yam then even jollof rice jollof rice i think is more you know most of africa has a version of jollof rice then even down to the attire like you know they are bada the so it's like a lot we share a lot of things in common with uh, cameroon even our slangs then our broken english yes that's another thing their broken english is very similar to us as as nigeria's own the difference is just a bit a few things here and there the, a few words here and there the Christian music, you know, the Christian music usually it spans, you know, so it's like the, the songs are pretty much the same. I listen to it on Audible. 
um, it's available. The e copy is available on Scribble, but I listened to it on Audible because I just didn't feel like reading. I'm getting lazy, I guess, but I just didn't feel like reading. Um, the name of the book, I, did I say the name of the book? <laughs> Behold the Dreamers. Have I said the name, the name of the book? This, um, the author, this is our very first book, right? And since then and now, it was written in 2016, since then and 20. To 2020 which is where we are now she's written like four other books afterwards so she's actually like she's a very fierce writer and this book did very well it did so well that even oprah winfrey recommended it as one of her book clubs book for her book club that was actually one of the things the night the, the the main suggestion came from dima on me i don't know if you know dima find dima on instagram sorry on um on youtube here she's an amazing lady um you know she does like beauty lifestyle and all that so she basically talked about something she bought from amazon and she mentioned this book i quickly went to check and see whether i could get it somewhere and you know and in case you don't already know amazon actually would deliver books to nigeria the only major thing i think you might have problem with when it comes to customs and delivering to nigeria especially from amazon is when you're doing things like electronic electronics like trying to buy cameras equipment and all that customs might just collect you and start turning on their own but books they don't have a problem they will tell you, tell you come and collect your book and be going anyway so yeah that's it about this book this book is beautiful like i liked there are a lot of angles to it. Um, the story of the family that they still working for, the relationship that they developed while they were at it, you know, so like the, the issues that even the white Americans also had there, you know, trying to deal with, trying to get their own American dream. Um, I don't know, it, it's it's beautiful. I really, I really, really love this book. And like I said, I liked how light it was. It wasn't like, you know, something about, it wasn't, I still feel a little morbid, so I was glad that I wasn't feeling as morbid. I realized I'm doing something, right? where I'm, 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 I realize most of the authors I've been reading so far are women. So I actually started doing a bit of research today to find male authors in other parts of Africa. So I'm looking for like male Kenyan authors, um, Kenya, there are several places I've not read now. There's Kenya, there's Zimbabwe, there's, I've not even read from Ghana, after this my talk. Ghana, Togo, Ivory Coast, Senegal, I've not read from any of those places. So I have four more books to read before, I think four? Yeah, we have two weeks left, so we have four more books to read before this month ends. So please, if you have any um, suggestion, please let me know. Um, here's the thing we're suggesting, though. I wanted to say that since a few people have suggested some books to me. Um, it's important to me that whatever book that um, we discuss here is a book that is easy for all of you, all of us, to be able to find. It should be easily available. That's why I talked about Script a lot. Script is an app. Just get the app and you get to so like when i tell you it's on script just go to script and find it so far this behold the dreamers i think Ruby heights has it but i'm actually not sure but i'm sure you find it on script and i'm sure you find it on audible guys <laughs> i feel like i rambled a lot in this video anyway thank you so much for watching i love you guys have the best 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 weekend if you haven't already please uh, leave a like give me a thumbs up for this video leave a comment below let me know what you think about this book if you read it before or if you know anything about Mbule Mbue who is the author and then um, subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get a notification on your phone every time I have a new content here so thank you for watching